Hey guys, how we doing tonight? As always, my name is Chris, and yep, we're gonna go do another single barrel blast. Tonight, we've got another selection from my uncle's uh, private stash here, and he hasn't even cracked this one, so I feel very fortunate that my uncle's letting me review this for you guys and having the first crack at it. Now, it is none other than Laws. Now, Laws is a very big, very, a lot of people know about Laws. They are known for their four grain. They're mostly a four grain whiskey type deal, straight bourbon whiskey. And I've had the yellow label. I haven't ever tried the black label, so I'm a little curious on this one. This is an eight year. Now, eight year, that's when we start getting into some really good stuff is when we get past that six year mark. This is a four grain straight bourbon whiskey. This is batch 7S. It's a bonded now. Here's the thing. My, my last go around with Laws didn't fare so well. It was very, very hot, very spicy. I don't have to do to the four grain here. I want to see though if I can get a proof out of this guy. Okay, it's 100 proof is what it's telling me right here. So it's, it's supposed to be a deeply complex with floral aromas and flavors of black tea, honey, orange peel, baked plums, and coffee cake leading to a lingering cinnamon finish. Now, if that is really the case, this will probably become one of my very favorite bourbons of all time because I am a huge tea drinker and I drink my black tea straight, stronger the better. I'm a huge Irish Irish tea fan. I was about to say an Irish coffee. Of course I'm an Irish coffee fan, but I love Irish tea. I love strong English tea. It, literally the stronger the better here. But the honey, orange peel, I love orange. Uh, the plums, I love coffee cake. I love coffee cake. My mom's coffee cake is some of the best ever out there. Let's, okay, let's, let's do this, folks. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, I don't dislike Laws. I just, I've never been a really big fan of the four grain. And that's what's kind of, so I tried Penelope. I tried their barrel strength one. I, ha, I struggled with it pretty bad. Okay, definitely got the cinnamon there, but I think that's just, that's the four grain coming through. I'm getting, some, I'm getting the orange though. The orange is definitely, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead here. Let's dive on in. Okay, now obviously you can tell this one's definitely a little lighter proof here because that one's definitely not as dark as, wow. Sorry, kind of made a mess there, folks. Jeez. Say it, don't spray it. All right. Let's do that here. All right, let's go in here and see what we got here. Okay. Okay. I like it. It's a lot better than the yellow label. All right. Caramel was definitely present there. Oak was definitely present. And the cinnamon was definitely present. I did get the black tea. Okay, impressive. It was in the middle. It was short, though. Very short. The lingering... The cinnamon definitely lingers, though. It's definitely there. And it travels from here to here. I don't want to say it's overpowering because in four grains, I feel like you definitely get that spice linger a lot longer. It wasn't as bad as normal though for like a lot of the four grains that I've tried. I, okay. Black tea and orange on that one. Caramel and cinnamon. All right. Okay. Good bottle. I like it. I wouldn't put it in my top five. It's it's a solid bottle though, and I think this one's around 70 bucks. It you know what? It's the best four grain whiskey I've tried so far. That's that's pretty good. Because the Penelope barrel strength, I think it's around 80 bucks, the at least where I'm at. And the Laws yellow label, I think it's around 60. So at $70, yeah, I I'd pick it up. If I had the chance and I didn't see anything better? Yeah, I, hmm, not bad. I like it. That's pretty good. Well, folks, I I like this one. This is a good one. This law is black label. And yeah, that's a good one. I like it. Anyway, folks, 
As always, my name is Chris, and I'm coming at you from Double Barrel Podcast. Always remember, check us out on all the streaming platforms, and we'll see you guys out here next time. And remember, do not drink and drive, and never mix your guns and alcohol. We'll see you guys out there later, and you have yourselves a great day. Oh, P.S. I'm not opposed to trying more four-grain alcohol. Give me some good ones to try, though. If you guys know some good Penelope ones, because you're saying, obviously, I'm not afraid to spend the money. I just don't know which one to go after. So help me out there, folks. Please let me know. You folks have a great night, and we'll see you here next time.